subscribe and press the bell icon to get notified for the latest tech videos hey what's up youtube this is wasa here and in this video i am going to show you how you can download and install my sql light on your windows pc so let's start the video so first of all you're going to open your browser on the search bar you're going to type mysql.com and mysql's website will open up so here is their website and on the top you can see we have the download section you're going to press on downloads and the download page will open up so you're going to swipe down where it says mysql community gpl downloads that's because we're going to download the mysql lite or the community version which is free to use and this page will open up mysql community downloads and we're going to download mysql community server now you're going to select your operating system mine is micro uh, windows here it is windows x86 32 and 64 bit mysql mysql installer msi and here is the button go to download page you're going to press on this button and you're not going to press on any of these other downloads so you're going to click on go to download page and now here you have one is 18.6 megabyte and the other is 3 398.9 megabyte so the difference is that in this it will only install the starting wizard which will be smaller in size but again when it's going to install my sql on your server it's going to download all the files from the internet so if you uh, download this one or this one the thing will be same so that's why i recommend download the larger one so that you can just download all the files once and you don't have to wait for the internet when you're going to install my sql so you're going to press on download and here they're asking login sign up but on the bottom here it says no thanks just start my download you're going to press on that and after that it will start downloading your sql setup here you can see 398.87 you're going to press on start download Once the download has been complete, you're going to run your setup. I'm just going to open the setup wherever I have downloaded it. So here's the setup my SQL installer community. Right click on it and install. Preparing to install. It's going to open the installation wizard. And guys, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so. I will make further videos regarding this topic as well. so here it is choosing a setup type you can uh, choose any of the types that you want developer default server only client only full and custom so i'm going to stick with developer default and it will show you what will be installed when you're going to select the particle option it will install mysql server mysql shell router workbench mysql for excel visual studio and so on if you only want the server you can choose this client or full and in full it will uh, install all the available products for my sql server shell etc and you can go custom and you can choose which programs you want or not for now i'm going to uh, stick with developer default because i want to develop tables etc on this machine uh, being my developer so i'm going to stick with developer default next so now it's going to install these things so i'm going to press on execute and it will check the requirements of all of them one by one you can see 10 percent 11 it will it will going to check all of these one by one for your pc and for some reason if any of your requirement is failed then my sql installer will attempt to resolve them automatically in the future you can see here it is written my sql installer will attempt to resolve them automatically if any of your requirements fail then they will be resolved by as mysql in the future 
so you don't have to worry about them. I agree to the license and install. So in this way, it's going to let you install all the required things. Close. Okay, done. Uh, I'm going to go next. Uh, continue by pressing yes. So now these are all the SQLs. Uh, so now these are all the MySQL uh, uh, files. So I'm going to ex press on execute and it will execute all the files one by one. So once it has installed all the files, I'm going to press on next. And now uh, it's going to configure these three products first the server, then the router, and some samples and examples so that we can understand them. We are going to press on next. And first of all, we have to set uh, out our router. I'm just going to stick on standalone my SQL server rather than the Inovi DB cluster. It's a little bit complex, but if you want to do that, you can select this. But for now, I'm going to select standalone my SQL server next configuration type so i'm going to use this computer as a development computer because i'm going to develop tables etc so i'm just going to choose development computer if you want this computer to be a server or a dedicated computer you can select them as well the connectivity for the network is tcp ip the default port number is 3306 the x protocol port is 33060 and open windows firewall port for network access will be uh, checked next use uh, authentication method so use strong uh, password encryption for authentication next so i'm going to type a password in order to access my sql i'm going to retype the password make sure that your password is strong because if your password is weak then anyone can hack it i'm just uh, using a uh, easy password for the sake of this video you can see it's saying weak now we are going to add a user you can add multiple users username i'm going to give user one its username and the host will be all host and his or her role will be a database admin you can choose any of the roles that you want for each particular user you are going to set the password for that particular user okay and the password for this user will not be the same for this one it can be same but meaning to say that this password is different and this will be different they don't depend on each other press on next windows service name my sql 80 80 because this version of sql is 8.0 so that's why it is written 80 start my sql server at system startup i don't want this meaning that whenever your windows going to start my sql will start up as well i'm not i'm don't want it so that's why i'm unchecking the box if you want you can check it next and now we're going to execute finish so we have configured the uh, server now we have to configure the router next okay it has pre-configured all the things we're just going to press on finish next connect to server show my sql services instances that may be running in read only mode uncheck it this box is checked username is root and you're going to type the password and and you're going to press on check you can see the status connection succeeded press on next now we're going to execute these two things as well press on execute and it will just uh, apply the final configuration for my sql for your windows pc finish press on next start my sql workbench after setup start my sql shell after setup press on finish and here is your my sql shell and here is your MySQL server. You can see. So I'm going to close the MySQL shell for now. Uh, in search, I'm going to type client 
and it will it will show my sql 8.0 client line client so first of all i'm going to enter the password that i set it after the password i'm inside the my sql command line client so let's see whether there are any database in it or not show databases so these are the databases that are available in my sql so that we can get a better understanding for it so let's select a database let's select sakila i am going to type use s a k i l a that is a database name enter database change i am going to press uh, type show tables so it should to show tables present in sakila database so these are the tables that are present in sakila database so it means our sql is working fine so exit and it has closed the client command line so anyways guys in this way you can download and install my sql server on your windows pc if you like this video please give this video a thumbs up if you have any kind of questions regarding this video write them in the comment section below i will put the download link for my sql server in the video's description as well and if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do so i will make future videos regarding my sql server as well and thank you for watching this video